So today I want to talk about what suffering is. All the supposed individual wants is the end of suffering. People say, no, I want truth, I want freedom. I want beauty, I want to be one with the universe, I want love. Actually, what the supposed individual wants is the end of suffering, that's it. All these beautiful intellectual teachings, all this dance of oneness and no thing and everything, it's actually not what the supposed individual wants. It's always the end of suffering, which is happiness or beauty or love or expansion. So let's talk about what the dynamic of suffering is. Suffering is seeking. Suffering is believing that there is a separate individual, a separate seeker that can get pleasure and avoid pain. Suffering is believing that somebody can control life. All these teachings of nothing, of everything, of Advaita, of Buddhism, of Zen, Buddhism and um, Hinduism, all of it, at the end of the day, are just pointers, are just teachings to get out of suffering. There's no truth really in the teachings. When suffering ends, once all the questions end, once all the seeking ends, the teachings can be thrown away. There is no answer to the questions. There's just the end of the questions. Until life becomes immediate and there's no longer longing, blame, guilt, worry, anxiety. Trying to avoid. Until the whole dynamic of the doership falls away. No supposed ever, se no supposed separate individual ever wanted oneness. Ever wanted to die or uh, die to oneself or become liberated. They just want the end of suffering. And the seeker gets confused because the seeker is always trying to end suffering in the flow of life. always thinking that the end of suffering is in getting pleasure and avoiding pain, is lining up life to create perfect circumstances in everything, even in spiritual seeking. For example, this morning, um, my boyfriend and I uh, took a really beautiful walk in Kings Park, overlooking the city as the sun came up. And because it's spring, all the flowers are out, and it was divinely beautiful. The seeker believes that that is happiness. A separate 
individual believes that they have created happiness by going to the park, by seeing the sun come up, by all the flowers being out. What actually happiness is, is the seeking falling away. It's never in the situation. But this is such a clever trick. Because the trick is, is in the obtaining of pleasure, momentarily, as you get the car or the beautiful sunrise or the intellectual understanding of spirituality, seeking falls away for a short period of time and it appears that there's happiness. Happiness is never in the flow of life. It's who you truly are. It's just, it's covered up. It's veiled by the apparent seeker, by the apparent dynamic of seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. The attention on the seeking creates the contraction, creates the belief that there is someone here doing something. And there's nobody here. And when that dynamic seen through, when the dynamic seen through that there's no seeker, there's expansion, complete expansion into what is. It's absolute love because there's no denying of life. You can just be, you can be just as happy sitting in a prison cell as, this is radical, as watching the sun come up in King's Park with your lover. It's more pleasurable to sit in King's Park with your lover but that is not your happiness.